M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So look here, we've got the Open Spot 4. And the question I have had is, will the Open Spot 3 battery fit the 4? And I, I don't think it will because they said they've upgraded the battery. But anyway, let's just open it up because it, it does just, the Open Spots just clip open. There's no screws, there's nothing, and they just clip open. Now, when you buy a battery for your Open Spot 3, you, this is what you are sent. It's the battery and the back housing. And the, the, the thing that we're not used to is that the, the connector here actually pushes onto the connector. It doesn't push forward or back. It just sort of lays on top of it, flat like that. You just push it into place. So um, this is what, what we're gonna do. We're gonna open this up. Now we literally just, when you open these, just carefully, use your, if you can, use your fingernails, just push, put, just get a small gap and then just pull it apart really gently. Otherwise, you're going to be messaging RF Shark for a new casing, which I don't think would cost cost that much because all the real expense is in the you know is in the in the board as you'll see when it opens. Yeah, we've got the seven o seven one o in the background. Doing very well. I love the seven one o. I'll just use a twenty meter wire with a nine to one balance, and it just works great. For, and that's it. So anyway, back to the open spot. Let's see if we can just begin to get this open up. I, I do it from the left side first. So all I do is use one of these like plastic things that people use on iPhones. And you, once you get it in there and you start to open it, see that? Then I just go put one in and then leave it in there or a card or something. And then put another one further up and it just opens. Literally like that. Just carefully just open it. And now look here. Now the connector does go in from a different angle than the open spot uh, three, which comes in from the back. So we're just gonna carefully take these four screws off and have a look at the battery, which I'm guessing would just be a different version of this. We are being careful. One thing I have noticed is that the Wi-Fi is not in the front housing like it is with the open spot three. So let, all it is, we're just using a T screwdriver to undo these screws. What I say with these screws is never push, just gently put it on and turn because if you push and you slip, very good chance you are gonna damage this micro, these micro components. The other thing is how do you, what's the best way to lift off this connector? Um, get a, um, what I use is a, a, te a toothpick, a little wooden toothpick and just, Pick it up. I don't even know if I actually want to take it off today. Um, but anyway, one thing at a time. Let's get the screws off. Another thing I noticed is with these battery backs is that the screws, you can see any there in the distance, they're just self-tapping screws and they self-tap into these plastic holes. There's not actually a, th a proper thread, you know, threaded bolt type. So there it goes, <laughs> timber. So yeah, I shouldn't have to uh, do that. But I do want you to see this battery. Of course, I've turned it off. So it's still 3.7 volts. Eight, uh, let's have a look now. Eight, 1300 milliamps. Now, the old one was 1200. So it's 100 milliamps higher. So I, I actually think it would fit. Uh, now, the other physical test would be to see if, if this, the back case here, fits onto the open onto the open spot through, uh, let's get it right. This is the open spot three back. This is the open spot four front. Let's see if they fit. And I would say, yes, they do. That is the front of an open spot four pro. And there's my open spot three back. So it's, it is, they are identical size. So that, that's, that's, proof, that's the proof in the pudding. And let's have a look at the circuitry here, which for some reason, the back bit there has got a shiny section, which worries me. I don't think I got it wet. Um, so, uh, but if we just go back to the front, the number one thing is turn it off before you, but look, it just sits back in place. And you have a look at the components. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let's turn it round. Okay, Open Spot 4 Pro. You have a look, tell me what the components are. I know it's on the other one, it said Ambi 3000 there. So where's the Wi-Fi now? 
I'd like to know. That's very, I remember seeing that in the open spot. Three. USB, there's your connector. So, where have they put the Wi Fi? And it, it does make me wonder if the Wi Fi is on board now, is the antenna better or worse? Because if on the open spot three, the antenna was a big square thing on the actual front housing. So, that's it for now. I'm going to put these back together. But you can see how it's now just put the four screws back in carefully. It, is, it looks to me like exactly the same connector. So I reckon the batteries are interchangeable, but obviously if you buy a battery for an open spot four, they're going to send you the 1300 milliamp one. It's the same voltage. So I'm not going to test that, but I think they are in interchangeable myself. That's my personal opinion. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my video. Catch you on air. And yeah, check out the 710. What a lovely radio. Very nice. M0FXB, someone wanted a close-up video of the Open Spot 4 Pro battery. So here it is, 3.7 volts, 1300 milliamp hours lithium, and there's the part number. Do not disassemble. Do not short circuit, prevent from heat. Yeah, typical lithium battery, really. But there you are. Bye for now, 73 Open Spot 4 Pro battery. M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. So this is the back of an Open Spot 3, okay? This is the front of an open spot 4 pro or pro or 4 whichever one you decide are they the same size someone has asked me well watch this what do you reckon so the back is a three and the front is a four seven three thanks for watching my channel bye for now